What's up guys and girls and welcome back to Open TTD. I am joined by Tim. Hello. Yes, it's been a little bit of time between the uh, episodes. And yeah, it's like, been a minute. <laughs> and we were like, okay. So we jumped in and we're like, what are we doing? But we figured it out. It's all good. Oh uh, man. So, so this game is about trains, I think, right? If I have that, uh, if I remember correctly, it seems that way because that's what we, the predominantly what we use. Oh man, yeah, it's it's uh, it's been so long. I uh, kind of forget how to play the game. Let me um, we'll unpause that. Uh, okay, so you actually have got. Oh no, it's me that's got. Have you actually got any road vehicles? Oh yeah, you have got. A little bit. A little bit of road vehicles. Yeah, mostly uh, supplementary. I mean, I do have a couple of buses on uh, on a town. Yeah, you got buses. It looks like you got oil. Yeah, you got yeah, oil. I got some oil trucks. Uh, so they seem to do their job all right. Is that a steel truck? Couldn't be. I got a wood truck. It might be the wood trucks I'm looking at. Oh, yeah, because I shouldn't, um, yeah. You've got them going down one, oh, wait, no, they are wood, yeah, the wood trucks, they're going from there into the, taking the wood to the station. Yeah, okay. Fair yeah. Enough. And then you just, last episode, you just got valuable trucks, was it? What did I get? Was it valuables? No. I don't know. I don't think I'm dealing with valuables at all yet. I, I was doing that on a previous uh, previous one, but no, I don't think I've touched valuables at all yet on. Uh, oh no, it's mail. Yeah. On this game, you've, you've got mail trucks running. You've Do I? Mail. Yeah, you have a couple of mail. You've How come you know more about what I'm doing than I do? Because I'm looking for your vehicle list. <laughs> oh, fair enough. Um, yeah, I got a. Yeah, you got, got a bunch of ungroup stuff. Um. Couple of... Oh yeah, I do, don't I? Okay, so. So I do have good. Oh, I do have good structure running in, don't I? Because I've got it probably going into that. Oh, way. that's right. I remember. Yeah, because I was doing a little bit of. Yes, I have. Yeah, I was starting to send mail back and forth. That's mm. horribly inefficient the way I got it current, currently <laughs> set up. Um, not not a great thing going on there. Um. There is a reason why I'm yammering is because I'm trying to let my money build up because I'm about to spend a crap ton. How much money you got? Just under sh shy of two mil. Cool. Yeah. You, you, you don't want to. You don't want to know. I do want to know. You've probably got an absolute ton compared to me. Yeah, I'm just coming up to uh, twenty-six million. Yeah, because you have you have oil ship oil ships as well. Yeah, that was only a recent addition though. Most most of um, like I mean I'm making a, a crazy amount on um, all sorts of stuff because mm. I got uh, let's see grain my profit from grain. Well, I, I don't got too many of those right now. Uh, my profit on grain last year was a hundred grand, uh, two hundred fifty seven thousand from iron. Uh, two hundred forty-four thousand from steel, uh, nine hundred and thirty-five, almost a million profit from wood. God. Um, oh, my coal trains weren't doing very good last year. I wonder why. I'm gonna have to look into that. One hundred and sixty-six thousand from coal trains. So you've got like, you got forty-five trains, twenty road vehicles, and two ships. Yeah. Whereas I've got. 26 trains, 8 road vehicles, and 14 ships. Mm. Because I've got two oil um, oil fields near me, and I have quite a few ships servicing each. Yeah, I, did, I, I, I didn't uh, do too good on the uh, 
on the oil lottery here. No. Um, I mean, I do have some other stuff I can tap off of, but I don't know. It's going to be super expensive, and I don't know if it's even worth it, uh, that, at least right now, anyway. That was why every time I've always started in the game, I tend to stick by the edges if there's water. Because I know, like I said, there's another oil field I could tap onto if I wanted to. So that would be free oil fields I could tap onto. Right. But whether the the only problem is because the distance is whether it'd get there without the ship breaking down all the time. Would it be efficient? You know, would it be profitable enough for me to do that? Whereas the two I'm tapped off now are just in a good distance for them not to break. Right. Which I don't mind. I don't mind that. I just need yeah, because to... right now my oil trucks are only bringing me in. Uh, profit last year was thirty three thousand. Uh, so how are you? Flying? So I mean, they I mean they make a profit, but how yeah, my oil is kind of like whatever. Oh Jesus! I never grouped my trains. <laughs> Whoopsie! I know how to group efficiently now. That was something I was messing around with. Yeah, as far well, because uh, one, one of the nice things is you can actually just go to where they're um, go to the depot mm. and kind of figure out what trains are. Um, but yeah, it definitely looks like I need more wood wood trains here. I got quite the backlog of wood. So you were going to say something before we. This oh yeah, so we're talking. Um, I was telling you uh, how I got into Card Mechanic Simulator, and usually not my kind of like I'm not into games, but I'm into sim or I'm not into games. Uh, I'm not into cars, but I'm into simulator games. Hmm. And um, so I figured I'd give it a shot. Got really into it, but it was interesting timing because excuse me, um, I was um, my uh, my car had a bit of a, a problem. Um, yeah, I uh, I was because uh, I mean I've told you before I get battery problems with the car just because I don't drive it enough and um, but that wasn't the problem I was uh, I drove over to my dad's place car was fine and then I'm driving back and um, thankfully it's not a long journey but I'm driving <laughs> driving back I'm at a stop sign and. I see some wispy smoke. Oh. And I'm like, and there was a little bit of a wind, so I couldn't quite tell, is that coming from under my hood, or is that smoke, like, wisping by? And I'm like, I have a feeling it's coming from my hood. And the longer I looked at it, the more sure I became, that's coming from my hood. Oh, God. And I'm like, well, that's not good. So I was just about home, so I drove the rest of the way back home. I popped open the hood, and I got a whole bunch of white smoke. Um, and I'm like, okay, well, it doesn't look like the car is going to catch on fire, so this is a problem for later. And I shut the hood, and I went inside. <laughs> so so the next day I, I went out and I looked at it and popped open the hood. And um, took a look around. It looked like there was some oil residue. Because my first guess looking at it, I'm like, this seems like it's uh, probably like an oil leak. And there's some burning oil and stuff. It's because it smelled that way too. And I'm like, mm -hmm. okay. So I, I, I could feel some, um, some oil residue. And um, so I... <clears throat> um, um, no, that's not how that works. That's super weird. Uh, sorry, I was I went to follow a train and it followed a different train. I don't know <laughs> why is it doing that. Oh, I know why. I'm looking at the, I'm hitting the wrong thing. I was looking at the um, uh, I'm not centering on the train. I'm centering on its destination. Okay. So anyway, um, so um, so I was like, okay, well, let's start the car up and see what the deal is. So I started the car up and immediately. Like within thirty seconds, I'm I'm getting um, white smoke from like under the engine area, and I'm like, okay, that's a problem. So let me check uh, and see like 
do I still have oil? And the answer to that question was no. So um, I checked, the, yeah, I checked the, the oil, I wipe off the dipstick, put it back in, pull it out, and it's like below the low line. I'm like, yeah, that's not good. I'm like, so there's like no oil in this thing. Um, like, okay, so clearly this is an oil leak of some description. And uh, so I, uh, I got the car towed to, um, uh, over to um, the garage, called them ahead of time. And, um, you know, explained to them, and they're like, yeah, you know, it's probably, you know, blah, blah. And I was like, okay. So they took a look at it. And yeah, I don't know specifically what it was, but yes, it was some sort of oil leak. I don't know specifically what the part was that, that, that broke, but it wasn't, it wasn't anything critical and it didn't cause any like damage, thankfully. Yeah. Um, and, um, so they fixed that up and, uh, that was a couple hundred bucks. Um, but then, uh, I still need to get my car inspected so local inspection and part of that is they do an emission test um to make sure the emissions are fine and um so they were that garage couldn't do the inspection i'm gonna have to uh bring it somewhere else but in the meantime uh, i had a check engine light which was related to a sensor which i knew okay that happens just because my car battery problems it resets blah 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 well they're like okay well we'll just clear the you know the 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 um the check engine light for you and it's like okay and they go to do that and guy calls me back he's like yeah so uh that's not clearing and after checking things out it looks like your uh, o2 sensor is uh dead and uh needs to be replaced i'm like oh oh that's that's nice <laughs> And so it was already like 250 bucks to, to fix the, the oil thing. And I'm like, okay, well, you know, how much, you know, that can't be that crazy. So I'm like, well, how, how much is it going to cost to replace the, uh, the O2? He's like, oh, that's going to be $400. Ooh. I'm like, is that total or in addition to? He's like, in addition to. I was like, all right, I'll call you back. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> and uh, I'm like, shit, that's expensive. So... So I call him back and I'm asking him about it and stuff. And he's like, he's like, well, you know, what you can do is you can get the, um, um, sweet. I made 2 million, yeah. 2 million last year. Uh, Oh, new steel truck. Ooh, I made. Less than what I should have done. I only made 315,000. Hmm. Guess I had a bit of breakdowns then. Some downtime somewhere. Yeah. So I, um. So I call the guy back and I'm asking him about the, um. Sensor. The sensor and stuff. And he's like, well, what you can do, he's like, well, you know, you can always, um, and this is a trick I already know. And he's like, well, you know, you can, um, it, you know, because I need that sensor to get my inspection. He's like, well, you can go for the inspection. If you get a failure sticker, the failure sticker is good for 60 days before you get a, you know, get a fill that gave you some time. I'm like, yeah, but that's not going to change the price tag of that, that O2 sensor, is it? He's like, well, no. I'm like, yeah, I... I'm like, all right, let's just do it and get it done. Um, I'm like, I'll beg, borrow, and steal, and uh, I'll I'll figure it out. And um, so he's like, okay, so um, so I got that done, and I go to pick up my car, and I'm coming back, and you know, it's always nice, at least in my experience, you know, coming out of the garage because they um, while I was in there, um, they um, tweaked the. Um, uh, power steering belt, uh, power steering belt. Yeah. My car had been a bit, um, on the squealy side and I, I did have low power steering fluid, which I had, um, topped up like about a month ago, but, and which improved my power steering, but it was still a, a little bit squealy, but anyway, they tightened up the belt. So I got out of there and like the steering's nice, feels great. I'm like, oh, this is perfect. You know, like that fresh out of the garage feel. And, um, so I get home and, um, I'm just about like i'm where i park there's like a little bit of 
um, the road kind of like goes down a little bit and then I take a right and then I'm in my parking lot. And just at that intersection, right before where I would park, my car conks out. Ooh. <laughs> I'm like, huh. Okay. So I try to turn it over and it's got plenty of juice. But, you know, it's just, you know, rah, 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 and I'm like, okay, great. So because I'm at an elevation and, and it's down, I managed to coast from there all the way down into my parking spot. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, okay, nice. Now that I'm no longer in anybody's way and I'm in my own spot, let's figure out what's going on here. So I tried getting it started, and, and it's turned over, and just feels like it's not getting enough gas. So I'm like, okay, let me pump this a bit and see if I can kickstart this, because I did have a problem before that was similar to this. So I pump the gas, and, you know, it starts up, but the second I let off the gas again, it and it tries to idle, it just idles too low, and then boom, conks out. And I'm like, okay. Well, <clears throat> and I did experience this once with my car before, and I don't know what the problem. Um, but um, I had basically revved it a lot and finally got it working. So I tried that again and that worked. So basically I started it back up, revved, uh, revved it up and just kept it idling high. And then I'd kind of let off a little bit to see if it was going to like conk out or not. And it seemed like it was going to conk out, bring it back up. And I just kept doing that for a few minutes until finally it stabilized. Mm. And then it was idling. All right. And then um, it's been fine since. And that, cause that was, uh, like three weeks ago. Um, and I've driven the car several times since, and it's been fine since, so. Is that not... Like, a... What the hell do you call it? Would that not be, like, dis... Distributed? I mean, maybe. But, I mean, I thought maybe it could be... Well, it could be something with the fuel line, where... You know, um, there's not enough fuel getting into the engine. Um, or um, could be something with the... Because um, uh, there, cause there is like an idle sensor that, you know, determines where the car kind of idles at. Mm. So there could be something off with that. But I feel like if there was something off with that, I wouldn't be able to solve the problem. Like it wouldn't... Like it just would be off. And yeah. I would just constantly have that problem. Because um, somebody suggested that and I was like... Yeah, but then why would idling it high for a while stabilize it? So it almost seems like a fuel problem. Yeah. Um, so so it could be something weird with like fuel injector or the fuel line or something like that. And, I, and to me, I just feel like it's maybe just like a weird fuel line clog and then just revving it hard for a while just kind of clears whatever's going on there and then it's okay. I don't know. So, um, not I mean, I'm no carologist, you know, yeah. I just... I, I know the I, I know some basics. That's about it. Sure. And now with now with Car Mechanic Simulator, I I know I know everything there is to know. <laughs> it's not a diesel, though, have you? You haven't got like a... no, God no, 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 no. Got to say because diesels can be a little, little bit more troublesome. Yeah, that's a whole different different ball game with diesel. Um, so yeah, diesel engines definitely run a bit run a bit different um definitely some different things to think about there and diesel engines i mean you don't want a diesel engine kind of you know the longer a diesel engine's cold the harder it is to to get going again and especially if it runs runs out of gas you know or too low on gas and conks out like it can be hard to kind of get a diesel engine going again uh after that but yeah. um but no no i just uh just a regular I got a little car engine, but but my car, I mean, my car is pretty amazing. Knock on wood, given the fact that it's from it's it's a 2006, and um, it's still doing a pretty good job, um, in spite of you know the fact that I do not always treat it the best. Um, and um, I mean, do you get a lot of do you get a lot of cold and wet so, like cold and damp weather uh we do i mean you know and i uh especially during the the summer months we deal with you know there's we get like high humidity mm. um and uh around here so i mean that's definitely a factor 
But uh, the bigger problem around here is usually the fact um, our overall season season cycle. So like when the guy uh, did the O2 sensor, um, mm -hmm. he only charged me for an hour of labor. But and thankfully he, I, I got off good on it. He uh, because when we talked before he did the job. I asked him to break it down. He's like, well, you know, it's about an hour for the labor and the rest is just the part. The part's really expensive, whatever. But the part ended up taking them almost three hours to take out and they didn't charge me for the extra time. Which is good. Um, yeah, thank God. Um, and because, as they said, the the O2 sensor was comfortably in there. <laughs> mm. and, uh, and, and part of the reason why it took so long is it was well in there and they had to be careful because it's really easy if they use, you know, if they get too aggressive trying to get that thing out, they can cause damage. Um, yeah. And um, so they're definitely trying to avoid that. But a big problem of why it's so, it was so hard to take out is because of the fact that the, um, um, because of our seasons. Because we've got cold winters, hot summers, so you're dealing with these really big temperature shifts. And sometimes we can have temperature shifts that are pretty big from one day to the next. Mm -hmm. um, you know, that goes from like cold to hot. Um, so that kind of stuff, you know, the, uh, you know, expanding and contracting of, you know, metal components and everything else just can wreak havoc over time. And that O2 sensor had never been changed. Yeah. So that O2 sensor is from the original 2006. <laughs> <laughs> um so, insulation so it had yeah. been in there for a while and dealt with you know plenty of cold winters and hot summers um so yeah i can kind of imagine that it didn't want to be uh removed so easy no 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 no, no. So I've got <sighs> got things run up on the right and up on the right, down on the left. No, God's sake, down on the right, up on the left. One of those things. Sorry, I'm just spending the money. Um, just doing a bit of rejigging of so where are my where are my oil trains? That's my call. So where the hell are my oil dropping off again? Um, Sure, I've got them dropping off somewhere. Is that it? You gotta love it when you <clears throat> can't remember where. Yeah, west, west. Um... Okay, so they're coming up, coming up that line. Vulcan be. How can I make that journey a little better without completely screwing myself up? Would I have to change? Would I have to change that station? Round or? Actually, no, I could actually, I could get away with that, I'd just have to align the station differently. Maybe. Hmm. Yeah, because if I turn it around, then... Because I was indecisive about whether to use off that farm. still coming in which is good um, really should just extend 
Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'm sitting here trying to, I'm just re-familiarizing myself with um, some of these trains and what they're doing, and I was looking at one of the orders for one of them, and I'm clicking between its destination and its, um, you know, origin, and I'm looking at the origin, and I'm like, oh, okay, so I guess it's picking up coal here, and then I looked at its destination, its destination is a, uh, is a, um, um, a sawmill, and I'm like, that's not where coal goes. Hold on. Let me check the origin again. And, of course, the first one I look at is one that I'm doing both wood and coal at the same station. Oh, right. Yeah. And uh, so I was like, oh, no. Okay. Yeah, that's supposed to be that way. <laughs> uh, jeeps. Um... Uh... So what order do you have then? Oh, I'm looking at the wrong. Uh, Look at those weeds. So I've made, I've made more money. Okay, that's fine. I just want to sort this out a minute. So. Oh, ah, yeah, that's a green hopper. Okay, so you're the wrong. Now it's time to work on junctions. Okay, so I want the oil train to obviously stop going that way, but then gotta go up, gotta come down that way. So wrong button. the up line. Okay. So we need to do this junction. So the up line is the right. Yeah, up line is the right. What the hell slowed that down then? Hmm. Was there a grain train or something coming out? Don't know.
shit, that's not flatland. Oh. Oopsie. Oh yeah, so I start playing uh, No Place Like Home. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, it's good. That's the one. Um, I have. Have you played that one? Uh, played a little bit, but I haven't. Oh shit! I haven't explored it any further. But, yeah, no, I do have that game I've been sort of meaning to uh, sink a little bit more time into it. Yeah, it's good. It's good. I, uh, I've enjoyed it. Um, it's got a good kind of core, core loop to it. Is that the one where you the... Uh, yeah, it's, it's the one that's, uh, there's garbage everywhere. You could use, like, a vacuum cleaner and a drill. You break up the garbage yeah. and then suck it up, and then, uh, and then you got that as far as kind of cleaning the environment and restoring stuff mixed with, you know, a standard kind of farming mm. gimmicks of planting crops and stuff like that. But then you've got player upgrades, you get different animal houses, um, to deal with different animals from, you know, pigs and cows and chickens and stuff um and um yeah it's good and then you get kind of a main quest line uh where you're trying to find your grandfather i don't know what what is with the trope of Inherited. all of these farming games and it being somehow related to granddad like yeah. it was always granddad's old farm like why is it always grandpa's old farm yeah i well wasn't Like, I don't know where that started, but obviously it's kind of carried forward with a lot of farm it games. Wasn't Stardew the same and all? Yeah. I mean, Stardew, you know, Stardew's less about, like, your grandfather's missing, per se. Like, because this one, the No Place Like Home, deals heavily with the idea that, like, Grandpa's, like, he calls you there, he's missing, you got to go, like, hunt him down. Like, there's been, like, quest line about that, right? Mm -hmm. That's different. But it was Grandpa's farm. And in... Stardew Valley, Grandpa's Farm. Um, and there was some other game in, um, oh, the uh, My Time at Porsche, I think, was um, oh, yeah. Grandpa's Farm again. Do you ever play Samrock? Uh, I played a little bit of it because um, it wasn't done. I don't think they've. Are they done with that one yet? Or is that still an EA? That's still an EA. So I played a bit of it. It looked like what I'd expect from. Uh, my time game um look good seemed entertaining so far um but uh but i there was two factors one the game wasn't quite isn't done yet so i was like i think i'll wait to, till it's done and two when i went to play it i wasn't totally in the mood for yeah. that type of game so i was like so i'm like well, let's hold off for now and just you know i'll come back to this one um, definitely looks like up my alley. Definitely my time of game, but, um, um, uh, let's see. How do I like this? How do you all, uh, just renaming one of my stations here. Um... Okay. And then all you go there. Bam. Okay, so that's... okay. Because I don't really know what I'm doing as far as a large plan and because I'm basically financially. Okay. I'm, um, basically just organizing everything which forces me to kind of go through and figure out what everything is doing yeah which is fun so i had all of my wood trains um just under grouped into like wood so i'm now breaking it down into um trains by station oh right okay so i'm adding sub subgroups so this track is actually redundant. I never, One, I've two. never messed with a subgroup. Oh, subfolders? 
Yeah, I'm not gonna mess with them. I mean, yeah, it's basically just subfolders. That's basically all it is. Then I and which is beautiful, which um, because the the benefit of that means that um, yeah, you're good. Um, the benefit of that means that um, you can kind of see like when I look at wood, I can look at the main folder, which will give me a breakdown of um how much profit I made from all of that category so i can look and see okay so wood i made you know a million profit last year but if but then i can also look at a specific station because i'm now the trains are grouped by that by by station as well i can see which station is making me the most money um so which is cool but yeah i made um a little over a million profit last year from wood yeah wood is my is my major export right now it um it's good. Trash the coal. I'm just gonna run down there. I could actually change that to uh Sweet. We got some new wood trucks. Oh yeah, he is faster. Look at him go. It's gonna have to go down there. Coming back up, balls. Path signal, remove that path signal. Okay, so I'm actually gonna remove. I lost money. I lost over 
703,000 last year. That's in because I'm constructing. Well, yeah, I mean, you're spending a lot of money in construction, so. But I mean, the main thing to look at is how the um, how it breaks down on the different transports. Mm. Um, okay, so that needs to go like that. This needs to be removed. And I need to just organize this junction quickly, very promptly. So this is the down one. This is the upline, which needs to go there, and no, need that. This is the downline. No, it's the upline. That needs to go like that, just in case. if it needed to okay so that's running that's fine that's solid this bit needs to come out of there that's running fine Train hasn't said it's lost, so that's a good thing. That gets removed, that gets removed, so that should turn there and carry on down. the oil starting to go down there and run down there. That's why, yeah, okay, so that's why that one's doing that. Because it's okay, so we've got a main line running up there. Uh, mm. The main line now running up there. Yeah, that's looking better.
So I just I'm trying to remember the uh Oh. So I was just trying to remember some of the uh keybinds here for uh How's your removal? That's the only key I seem to use is uh if I need to. Ah, uh, I think that's the one I was trying to remember actually. Um, I also learned, um, well, trying to figure that out, I learned you can actually just hold down the control key as well, but you yeah. have to, I like R better because, uh, and I'm, I'm glad you mentioned that. Um, yeah, it's, uh, just, I like the toggle better than the, uh, than holding control. Yeah. So how much oil is actually sitting here? Nothing? A bajillion. So how much bloody oil are these producing? Uh, 103 oil. Okay. Okay, so this is... 153. So it is getting delivered. I may have to That's stick two. some bolts on it. That's one. Okay, so yeah, let's stick to this and then we'll stay high. Okay. So where do I go from here? I shall figure that. Out. In a moment. Okay, well, I'll still figure out my next move. I need to see what Tim is up to, because Tim's gone very, very quiet. It's never a good sign. I'm making money. It's the good thing at the moment. Alright. Not landscape until, remember, it's not a WAS and D game. Tim. 
So, yeah, I'm not doing much. I'm um, chatting on this uh, iron mine. So you just... It's weird, for the amount of wood trucks you've got running, it seems to be... I say you've got 1,233 tons of wood just sat in a station. Yeah, I added on a couple more trains. I'm trying to balance that out. Um, but the trucks are... So, yeah, I just recently upgraded the, uh, the trucks over here. So you're working on... Yeah, just tying in uh, more iron to my uh, to my steel. Just seems weird because your your main line or part of your main line isn't straight. Okay. Well, yeah, I mean, um, yeah, because I had to go uh, round some stuff. Mm. So, yeah, because main line doesn't have to like be straight. I mean, yeah, and generally speaking, it never is probably... You're probably never going to get lucky enough for it to no. be straight, because you're going to have to go around um, certain resources and stuff like that. And so, and for a main line, it's got to swing a bit wider than than certain other things, so... It just makes me wonder... Did I look out on in terms of forests? Have I actually got any wood? I'm sure I got wood trains running. Have I? I have wood trains running. Wonder if it's That's not a wood train, is it? Oh yeah it is. No, that's look at that's <sighs> Wood Train ten is a steel train. I did kind of wonder. Yeah, they can look similar at times. Money though. Oh, let's see, are these? No. Nope. So what is the actual station rating? Very good. Is that it? Hmm. Yeah, we are just going to seven. And all four are actually sat there. Yep. And that'll put four. Fair enough. Okay. Okay. All right, it's been a while. Let's see if I did this, set this, set these trains up right. I don't know what to do about my woods, about the wood situation. I've only got a very good 74% rating here. <sighs> I'm curious. 
Well, that's a good rating. It's hard to get much higher than that at this stage until we can get uh, faster trains. Well, we can already con construct the electrified railway. Yeah, but the trains we have available aren't that much faster right now. No. Um, they also don't have much tractive effort, so yeah. for freight, um, that's not necessarily the best. So I was I evaluated uh, electric uh, a few minutes ago and was like, mm, yeah, I'll hold off for now. Yeah, because you're only you're only on seventy two percent yourself with your forest. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it depends. I mean, some of them are, I got, um, I mean, some of them are quite a bit lower than that, but, um, jeeps, I need more frickin' trains over here. Jesus Christ. Over where? You far Um, us. yeah, this massive station I have. Yeah, because... It sits empty most of the time. Um, well, you're sitting, you've got 1,246 tons of wood still sat there. Yep, so I'm gonna slap on four more trains. Oof. Bam. Do it. Alright, oh, you've got us. Yeah, okay, so that now, that wood train's now gonna get stopped. You've got a strange configuration for this station, because it's that big. Yeah, so it kind of groups by four. So I have, um, mm. like, each each one's got its kind of separate line. So you can see where, when it main line coming in, it then splits. So it can kind of either go to the first group of four or to the second group of four. So that actually helps to kind of balance the trains a bit to avoid... Um, but you still... Uh, avoid, avoid certain slowdowns. So, like, for instance, I can have that no. one... I can have two trains. Like, there was that slowdown there, mm. but... If there was another train that needed to come into the station on the other side, he was out of the way to let another train come into yeah. the station to start loading up or dropping off, right? So are you aware you've got a double signal so close to each other on that wood? Uh, no, I really do though, don't I? Um, Left hand side. Yeah, I see that. Shouldn't be there. Uh, no, no. Oh, there we go. Da -da 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 -da. I just wondered if you'd noticed that or not. Nah, I hadn't noticed. Because that could have caused you a crash. So, no, not necessarily. Um, not in that instance. But it's just kind of redundant. Doesn't need to be there. Um. Okay. And they all loaded up, and I now finally have another train coming back. Holy shit. Even adding four, it's just like... They loaded up, and the station was still empty for, for mm. like, a little bit before the next train showed up. That's freaking crazy. All right, now it's, it might be overkill, though, because it's probably going to balance out to where there's going to be a lot of trains sitting here. But I'd rather have that and then reduce them than the opposite. Yeah. Because... Um, because as the because the other thing too is that's not necessarily I might not have to scale back at all because even though those trains are going to be redundant I might lose a little bit the short term as my rating goes up that's going to make these um, forests generate more trees. Mm. The moment one of your trains went for service, I mean. So it's so just... how many wood trains do I have now? I have I now have. Um, Where does that show? Vehicle, train. Yeah, no, okay, no, okay. I'm just verifying the number that I'm looking at here. But yeah, so I got 18 wood trains. Jesus. Oh yeah, there it is. Oh, it's right at the top too. Okay. Mm. But yeah, because I got 55 total trains now. So I've added... What is that, like 10 trains since we started playing? Yeah. <laughs> Whee! Alright, and this new iron is going to be really slow until it gets up, because I debated not even tapping off of it, but I was like, eh, hopefully I can get it to grow. Oh, good, it actually has started to grow. Because we're down to 40 tons on, that, uh, on this iron ore mine that I just tapped off of. Mm. 
but it's uh, climbed up to 50 tons of iron now. So hopefully, yeah, that'll crawl that iron mine out of bankruptcy so it won't collapse. So... Well, that'll take some time, but that'll that'll grow. I'm confused. Have I done something completely wrong here? Maybe. Entirely possible. Is that... How, how do I know if the coal mine's actually taking it? Where are you at? Uh... Valkenbeek East? No. West... No. West Valkenbeek Branch. Something gone completely wrong. Are you at a coal mine or at... Or a power plant? Power plant? Where are you at? Oh, you're at the power plant. Okay, so that's where that would end up going. Um... Oh, I see you. Over there. But it's got coal there. Yeah, but, but it, the coverage... Is it out yeah, but your co coverage area? Yeah. Ah, if you look at the coverage, coverage area, you're off by one tile. <sighs> so how do I fix this? Well, I mean... It's not pretty, but you can technically, if you make a little, let me just see if that, uh, I don't think I can technically build it, but it should show, it might show me the overage anyway. Yeah. So if you build, build like a tiny little, um, one by two, mm. just make sure that one of the, one of the one by two connects to your existing, um, station. And it'll extend the station by like just a little bit. So like to the right of where the station is in that, that empty area, just build like a little one by two, like kind of tacked onto it that it, that it makes the whole coverage area just one tile closer. And that should connect that all up, if that makes any sense. I can send you a screenshot if not. Yeah, you get the right idea. Oh, but does that actually connect? Because it looks like you're diagonal it... to the station. I don't. I. Th it looks like it might be a separate station. No, it's not labeled as such. So I, I no. guess it looks like it might be acting as a as one station. But I'm just don't understand why the power. Oh yeah, it does. Why the power supply? Uh, the call. Yeah, it, it, there. but it's staying. well. Well, you might have an order that on the trains that tells you to that says to drop it there, like drop whatever's in the inventory. Um, but yeah, your coal's going down now, so the the power plant is taking. It looks like I have the un I have an unload and leave empty order on the coal trains yeah that means whatever is in my inventory leave it empty at my destination like make sure i do not have anything once i leave my destination so so whatever it is it's just going to drop it off at that at that destination mm. so so yeah so that's why i was dropping it off but yeah you weren't actually um but yeah but yeah, the coal is going down. It's down to 221, 217. So yeah, so the power plant's taking it now. So you should start making uh, but they have some been, proper money now. They've been making money. The yeah, because it's because of, it, you're making transfer money. Because mm. you're basically transferring it to that station, but you're not mm. actually making full drop-off profit profit of like delivering it to. Let's see. Well, this is.